Hey guys, Rich here with a video on how to install fog lights on a 2003 Honda Element. So the first things first, pop your uh, trunk open. As you can see, we're looking at our engine bay. Next thing is, the tools you will need is an 8mm socket, a 10mm socket, and a trim popping tool of some sort, or just even a small flat blade. The reason why is you're going to want to pop this rivet, this rivet, that one, that one and then from there we go to the wheel well we have one in the wheel well then you'll have if you look under here four more pop rivets you're gonna pop those pop rivets this is where you're gonna use your 10 mil pop these bolts pop those bolts and then the eight mils are for the side. So do that, and after that, I'll give you the next instruction. Hey guys, so after you've popped those top six rivets, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, actually, sorry, there's five. I'm just gonna grab this and lift it out. Put it off to the side. And now, just continue on taking the ones off your front bumper. Okay. All right guys, so now that you got all the clips out, as you can see, there's a lip on these. So you wanna slowly tug on this. Don't tug on it, like really pull on it, but you'll see as the bumper is separating. And slowly go around your entire bumper and slowly separate it all around. And you should be good to go. Another thing to keep in mind is you see that one, just make sure that that separates. I can't really, do this while holding the camera, so you'll have to just take my word for it, just go around and slowly pull it apart and it'll slowly separate from there. Make sure before you start doing this that you have a place to put the bumper. For me, we've got some blankets and stuff in the back, so I'm going to just put the bumper on there. So just make sure you have somewhere to put the bumper before you start taking it off. Make sure you aren't pulling too hard on this because you don't want to you know, stress crack your bumper or anything like that. So, get to her and just slowly separate it from the rest of the trim. Okay. Alright guys, so if you did what I told you to do, you should be at this point now. As I said, it's really, really easy to remove this bumper compared to my Mazda. My Mazda has a bunch of sensors in the bumper. This one didn't really have any, so that's awesome. So, now that you have your bumper off, as you see I have it on the tailgate, some blankets, um, you're going to see this. This is where your fog lights are going to be going. So, before we proceed, the next part that you're going to need is a three and a half inch hole saw, so that way you're able to cut this out. And, of course, we're going to have to measure and see where the center of this hole is, because you're going to want to go directly center when cutting this out. You don't want to be off alignment or anything, even though there are some alignment adjustments with your fog lights, it's always good to be center with the hole. So, so the next part is, find out where your center is on here, drill a pilot hole, and then hole saw through. Once you hole saw through, we'll start going from there. Alright guys, so our next thing that we're going to do is put our fog lights in after you've cut your hole. As you see, I've got mine in. It's all good, nice and tight on this one, and that one is just the hole. So, the next thing you're going to need to do is, if you look right here, there's one black screw. I'm going to take our screwdriver, should have saw it the right way, and we're going to undo that screw. Once you've undone the screw, you will see that there's a little clip right here on your gray. You're going to move that up and you're going to slide it off. You're going to slide this connector like so. Okay, that's off. And now if you look at the bottom, there's two little rubber feet. You're going to push those through and this comes off. From there, you're going to go in from the other side and slowly work this in. And then after that, 
after you've worked that this light into there it's going to be a tight squeeze and then from there as you can see this will go back in here and you're going to slip the forks back in there clip your gray clip back on there and tie that screw back in and tie this screw back in on here once you've done that then you can mount that on there like so all right cool so after you're done this is what your bumper should look like pretty sweet so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and plan a route for doing the wiring and then I'll show you the route that I take with the wiring so you can go off of it and from there you should be good now the big thing is if yours came with a switch like mine did you're gonna need a spot now just so happens with this if you look I have a blank some of them you might actually have some sort of um, breaking one or something there um, if you don't then you're set you have a spot for your switch so I'm just gonna go ahead and plan the route for me to take with this and I will let you know all right hey guys all right so I've started the wiring what I've done is you can see um, my kit came with some zap straps so you have your first fog light socket and I have it right there then I followed the bottom I found some holes so I zap strapped along them and then as you can see my other lead comes out here in the other pocket where the other fog lights gonna be and then from there I went up behind the headlight and ta-da I found a stock ground so I grounded it there my positive wire is just right there which I uh, will connect after but from here I'm actually going to put the front bumper on because that's the first set of wiring the next set of wiring will be coming from the cab through the firewall out to that positive so from here I will put the front bumper back on basically if you need help putting the front bumper back on just do what you did before only reverse uh, follow the video if you want but instead of, of course tugging make sure you're being slow when putting it back in I'd probably pop the top clips on first so that way you can maneuver the bumper along the edges and make sure you get all the trim pieces back the way they were other than that yeah if you want put your front bumper back on and I will continue the next section inside the cab for wiring alright alright guys so I've now drilled a hole through the firewall there is already an alarm system that's gone in here so I just actually followed right about where the alarm system was so I didn't have to create anything too drastic. And then now as you can see, we have our fog light wire and it's just going to come down here and connect into this one, which I'll connect in a sec. I can't do it with a hammer in my hands. And the next one, of course, is I also reached around into here and right from the back end, just reaching around, I was able to pop that out. So now I have the spot for my switch. So we also have left wire, of course, the positive and the back of the switch. And here's our relay. The relay I'll tie in somewhere. But there's the back of the switch, which will come through that hole. And now I just have to find the fuse box where that's going to plug into and then we have another ground wire which I have to find a ground for so I'll uh, show you where I end up going with all that for right now we'll just go with the switch goes there and that other positive wire plugs in up there and the hole in the firewall so I'll keep you up to date give me one sec alright guys so after I did the firewall portion up there I was able to uh, feed my itch plug right through here there's our switch it's pretty easy it only clicks in one way so just click that in and then your switch is done then all that's left is to a little bit more wire uh, dressing and then I just have to find the uh, fuse panel where that's gonna click in all right all right guys so I found out where it is you have to pop this lock and that lock going underneath and when you do they're 
is on this fuse panel right above the relay. Actually, you'll see it. You'll see a yellow connector right above the relays, and the brown connector goes in right under the yellow one. Okay. And then other than that, um, I just found a random screw at the bottom, which you probably can't see, but it was an existing uh, ground screw. It's just actually right into the side. It's held in by a Phillips, and then you can ground through there. Other than that, from here, just button up your wiring, start your car, and your fog light should be working. All right, have a good one.